Hi, thanks for logging on to TSN.ca. I'm Sarah Oleski, joined by Jermaine Franklin. Jermaine, let's talk a little bit about what the playoff scenario could look like for the Calgary Flames and Winnipeg Jets. It would be great if we saw these two teams be able to face off in a playoff series. And let's talk a little bit about why we think the respective team we cover might be the ones that come out on top in a best of five series. And I'm going to start because I'm talking right now. So I'm going to start with my opinion first. And first and foremost, Connor Hellebuck, easily. He is the reason that the Winnipeg Jets are even in consideration right now. He is one of the favorites to win the Vesna this season. He leads the league with six shutouts. He had 922 save percentage. And he was able to either steal the Winnipeg Jets games this season or he was able to keep them in games long enough for them to find their game. And he is definitely, in my mind, first and foremost, the reason why the Winnipeg Jets would win a series against the Flames. Now, I can't argue uh, against that logic, Sarah. I do believe the Jets have the slight edge in net, but perhaps that edge would be closed or that gap would be closed just a little bit with the Flames' blue line. They are so deep. Uh, in that defense core. They have at least nine defensemen, NHL caliber defensemen, and they can play it anyway. Mark Giordano, of course, he can do it all. But if it's a little bit of a more of a rough game, the Flames have Travis Hamannick and Forbort. If it's more of a skill game, they can bring Eric Gustafson into the mix and he can help on the power play. They have so many different guys that they can slot up and down those pairings where I believe that their blue line would be the difference and the Flames would win the series against the Jets. Another reason I think the Flames would have a great chance of winning this series against the Jets is the fact that they will be on the road. And why do I say that? The Flames were very good on the road this year with 20 wins. They were mediocre at the Saddle Dome. They simply could not figure it out for some reason how to be dominant and how to be a strong team in their home building. They don't have to worry about it this time. The Hub City will feel like the like they're on the road and when you feel good you play good that's why I would give the Flames an edge as well. Well you mentioned the depth that they have on the blue line and they would certainly have their hands full when you look at the offensive talent that the Winnipeg Jets have up front. We know some of the challenges that they've had this season it's always been well documented but you look especially in a best of five series everything on the line you look at the likes of Kyle Connor, who had 38 goals this season, Mark Shifley, Blake Wheeler, Patrick Liney, Nikolai Ehlers, those top three lines in particular, Paul Maurice has a number of different looks that he can give you that he had to try out throughout the regular season because of injury or an attempt to get players going. We've seen different looks. He has different options. And I think that it would be a lot for that Flames team to try to contend with. Also, the Winnipeg Jets, have been through a lot this season and nothing has come easy for them to get to this point. They were comfortable in one goal games. They know how to play from behind. It was a scenario that they were in more than they would have liked this season, but there isn't panic in that group. I think that that would help them in this sort of situation. And of course I go back to, again, you're not going to panic. One of the reasons you're not going to is because you have Connor Hellebuck in that. And I have to agree and I believe the Flames, Sarah, are battle-tested as well, both on and off the ice. When you think about what they had to go through off the ice this season already, the Bill Peters controversy, that seemed to take forever. And, of course, it ended up in a coaching change. And then on the ice, in the middle of practice, they had to deal with TJ Brody and his fainting episode. Mentally, these guys are strong. And when you mention one-goal games, the Flames have the second-best record in the league in one-goal games. So they are battle tested as well this is going to be an amazing series if we get to it oh Jermaine let's hope that we get to see it something that you don't have to be a Jets fan or a Flames fan to look forward to a playoff series like this for Jermaine Franklin I'm Sarah Oleski thanks for logging on to tsn.ca